Hi, this is Mark Shepard, and I have another insight that might be helpful to you in your own life, uh, particularly if you struggle with anxiety or uh, just the stress of life. Um, there seems to be a growing movement and an awareness of people, particularly in the New Thought Movement, Unity Church, and the Centers for Spiritual Living, uh, as well as the, the Course in Miracles and the Law of Attraction, that the idea of gratitude is tremendously um, positive in developing the kind of attitude and mindset that you want to develop because essentially what you hold in your mind you get more of <clears throat> and the reason the reason that works is we're kind of hardwired that way with our unconscious mind and it's just the way it works you know it's just how our neurology is designed we get what we focus on so the, the difference between focusing on the things you're grateful in your life, like for example, like I can move my hands, like that's amazing. With these hands I can play guitar. With these hands I can feed myself, I can carve things, I can build things, I can make things. That's amazing, right? But we take our hands for granted. There are some people that don't, you know. I have a friend who's in a wheelchair and, you know, he can barely move his arms, you know. so. That to me is like, we need to be grateful. And he's one of the most grateful people I know. He's grateful for what he has, for what he can do. Now, the reason gratitude works, not it doesn't work because some Pollyanna, I would just be grateful. <laughs> you know, it, that's not why it works. It works because literally when you think thoughts of gratitude, your body releases the kinds of hormones that feel good. So the feel good hormones like endorphins and just other biochemistry that makes you feel good. I mean, I didn't, I, I did an original version of this video last night and I was like so blissed out. It looked like I was on drugs. So I, I can't use that one, but I was just like making a list of all the amazing things that I can go right back into that state of just feeling really good because I'm focusing on what is good. And you focus on what's good, you flood your mind with what's good and what's working and what's delicious and what's delightful and what's pleasant and what's positive and what's hopeful. And it just, your body creates those feel-good emotions. Serotonin, endorphins, um, just good stuff, right? But if you're focusing on what you don't want, if you're focusing on lack, if you're focusing on something you don't want to have happen you know, out in the future, um, you're gonna, your body's gonna release fight or flight toxins. So literally, it's a matter of life and death to focus your mind in a way that gets you these good feelings and and in and kind of decreases the negative feelings. Because you know, I mean, sometimes we feel anger and it's appropriate, and sometimes it's actually exhilarating to feel anger if someone is invading your boundaries and you say stop, you know, and you express your power, that's good. But if you're like angry all the time, if one little thing somebody does in traffic, you know, just puts you th over the edge, that's a bunch of toxic chemicals that you're coursing through your body. And the deal is you actually have charge of that. You are in control of that. You are not a victim. So I'll say it again, I say it a lot, anxiety is not a disease. Anxiety is thinking about what you do not want to have happen. And literally your body does not know that it's not happening, so it reacts as if it is. So if you imagine something really bad happening to someone you love, or losing someone who you're deeply in love with, or you know not getting the raise, or getting fired, or becoming homeless, or all the things that uh, someone I know used to imagine all the time, I don't know who that was. <laughs> but if you, if you imagine, you know, um, you know, great clients coming to your practice or imagine getting that raise or imagine finding a way to really turn the thing you're the most passionate about into, you know, a, an ever growing, consistent, multi-stream income source, you know, wow, that's the, those are different focuses and your body responds. So do it every day. Make a list of what you're, grat what you're grateful for. Make a list of what you're grateful for. And, you know, I'm, quite well known for writing down every day. Why does it work out better than I can possibly imagine? So you want to put your gratitude in a why or a how question. So why am I so grateful for all the blessings in my life?
how can I give back? You know, how can I notice? How can I make it a habit to notice the wonderful things in my life, the wonderful people? The one, I mean, you know, I have a shirt. It's not the best shirt in the world, but it's my shirt and it's kind of new. It's purple. It's not black like I normally wear. I'm grateful for that, you know? Um, I'm grateful for the fact that, you know, uh, we're coming to the end of August now as I'm recording this. I love September. Well, maybe I'll focus on how I love August. Or, you know, I had fresh tomatoes from my garden today. Wow. Or, you know, someone who I care very deeply about just called to say hi. Wow. You know, so focus. I mean, I have hot and cold running water. That's amazing. You know, I have a vehicle that I can get in. I turn a key and it, and it goes places. I can steer it. It's, it's a car. It's amazing. No, it's, you know, it's not a Ferrari, but that's okay. I, I don't need a Ferrari to get the places I need to go. I need something that can carry my guitar and my drum and, um, you know, and my body safely. So, to focus on what's really positive for you, that's your takeaway today. Make a list. And if you do it every day, your life will change. And I mean, there are clients that I've had to literally assign this to and say, listen, you need to make a list every day and send it to me, right? I mean, one client I had to ask, so, um, you know, I mean, the wor her world was falling apart, right? The sky was falling. And I said to her, so, do you, you know, where are you living right now? Are you homeless? And she goes, no, no, I, I live in a house. I'm like, oh, okay. And um, does that house have a roof? Yeah, of course it has a roof. Oh, interesting. Hmm. So do you have hot and cold running water when you turn on the tap? Oh, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. Do you have salt and pepper? I mean, you didn't have to mine your own salt. You didn't have to travel to Indonesia to get those peppercorn things. And she goes, no, no, no. Like, just see how rich you are? I mean, think about it. How rich you are. Think about it. How rich you are. Why are you rich? In how many ways are you rich? Make a list. Write it down. That's your assignment for today. This is Mark Shepard. Thank you very much. Remember, gratitude works because it creates biochemistry in your body that supports good feelings, health, and wellness. And the more you do it, the more you get it. The more you do it, the more you get it. Right? The more you get it, the more you do it. The more you do it, the more you get it. Uh, negative thoughts, fear thoughts, anxiety thoughts, harm your body. You have the power to change it. Do it now. Change your thoughts. Change your life. Cowabunga.